Throughout Les Amis, Krull repeatedly obscures the model's anatomy, oscillating between inviting the spectator's desiring gaze and frustrating the clarity such a gaze requires. As Abigail Solomon Godot observed about the so-called lesbian scenes staged for 19th century daguerreotypes, quote, women together are typically posed in ways that provide the viewer with maximum visual access to their bodies. Yet cruel models fold their arms across their faces, tilt their heads so their page boy hairstyles hide their eyes, and press their bodies so close together that their breasts are hidden. Even more surprising, in not a single image does a model directly gaze out at the camera. The standard acknowledgement of the viewer of erotic material, the address to the third party outside the image, never takes place. These models fail to address the frustrated, desiring gaze to symbolically invite the third party to join the sexual adventures taking place. The eroticism is contained between the two women with no imaginary space for a third, presumably male, viewer to enter. Psychoanalytic theories of the gaze have defined spectator positions in gendered terms, with the male positional gaze described as active and aligned with the desire to possess the female object, in contrast to the female passive position that would allow only the desire to become the object. As research into queer viewing positions has argued, these positions are not exclusively aligned with the sex of the viewer. A man can take on the desire to become the object in a homoerotic scene, I mean, basically anybody can desire to be or have any role at the end of the day. The compositional structure of Les Amis invites a desiring gaze that is narcissistic, a gaze that desires to be one of the women while rejecting the possibility of possessing them both. This argument extends Kim Setchell's observation that Krull dismissed, quote, the male gaze of Weimar culture in favor of a female gaze, and her emphasis on the gazes within the images as the female models view each other. In Les Amis, there is no space for a third party. The only possibility is to become one of the women. Moreover, the acts depicted suggest a woman's knowledge of how women have sex with women rather than a man's imagined projection. The emphasis on the hands in each image suggests the role of the hands in female-female sex. In contrast, the absence of a dildo suggests that there is no need for a penis or indeed for the symbolic phallus. By photographing erotic scenes, not uh, Krull not only constructed the desiring gaze, but also placed herself in the position of that gaze, taking on privileges previously permitted only to male photographers.